everyone! Today I am coming at you with my November favorites. What? <laughs> Where in the heck did November go? I can't believe it. Guys, I have like two more weeks of the semester. I have two more weeks of school and then it's Christmas break! I love Christmas break. I love Christmas. I love the holidays. I love singing carols. I think that Christmas is like my favorite time of year so I am so happy that it is finally December and it is finally here. Yay! Okay, so let's get on to the November favorites. Let's not do anything crazy here, okay? I did film a video um, on how I did this makeup look. It would be like my traumatic Dramatic? <laughs> yes, it is dramatic. Oh my. My dramatic Christmas party makeup. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see it. Let me know. And if you want to see it, then I will post it after this video. Okay. Let's start with the favorites. Oh my goodness. Blabbing on forever. First favorite I have is the Dior Skin... <laughs> we have the Dior Floor BB Cream here today. <laughs> uh, it is the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream and it is the New Glow Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm. And I have had this for a long time. I'm actually almost out of it. I'm trying to use it all up and rid myself of some products and this was the next one on my list. I love this BB cream. It gives the most beautiful finish to the skin. It looks like real skin. It has amazing coverage. Like It's like medium coverage and it's incredible. Um, I love to use this. I've been using it lately with the Real Techniques buffing brush. Buffing? Is it the buffing brush? Yeah. Pretty sure it's a buffing brush, but I put that all in. Or I just use my hands, and either way, it always looks beautiful. It totally mimics the natural look of skin. And it also has amazing wear time. A lot of foundations tend to crackle up and separate on me when it gets this cold outside. But this one lasts all day long, no matter how bad my skin is acting. So I've been loving that. But I won't repurchase it because the shade is terrible for my skin. It is very, very pink and I am just really white and ivory, just very, very white. And this one, when I put it on, my face will be pink and my neck will be white and it just looks really bad. So as much as I love wearing it, I really have to douse myself in bronzer every time I wear it. So that's kind of annoying for me. But so as much as I love it, it's like a love-hate relationship. I love it. I love the formula. I love how it wears, but I wish that they would come out with different colors, different shades. So Dior, if you're ever listening, please bring out more. Long story short, that's the face product that I have been using every day this month. I'm just going to show you my next product and it will basically speak for itself. The NARS Matte and Satin Lip Pencils. I am so in love with these. I am wearing Mysterious Red right now. It is the perfect red color. It makes your teeth look white. I love it and I've never loved a red color so much. They usually have a really weird orangey tinge on me and make me look sick, but I love this color. I think it's fantastic for the Christmas season, holiday parties, whatever. Um, I'm not going to go on much about these. I will link the post that I did down below. So if you want to see the post and hear my full review on these, Check it out. I have already mentioned this eyeliner quite a bit now, but I just wanted to pop out my favorite eyeliner combo, and that is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen and the NYC Eyeliner Liquid, Liquid Eyeliner. And I love the Essence liner on its own. It does an amazing job. It's got a really super fine tip, and it gets really into the lash line, and you can make any kind of liner look with it. But as I've mentioned before, the product runs out really quickly and it will get patchy, so that's when I like to go in with my NYC liquid liner. And I've been using the NYC liquid liner to create the wing after this runs out. A fun little fact, what I did with the NYC liner, it comes with a really long brush and it's actually really difficult to maneuver. Maybe I'm just oh, that horrible at eyeliner, but I found it really hard to like make a nice thin line, so I actually cut the tip of this brush and I made it like half the size and kind of like tapered it and made it a little bit pointy. You won't be able to see so I'm not even going to try and show you but just know that the brush was like twice as long before and I cut it and now I love it. The formula is fantastic on these. Super long wearing. I would never notice a difference between these and a high-end liner except for its distribution performance. We'll, uh, we'll just see past that for money saving purposes. My next two products are actually my final makeup favorites for the month of November. That is crazy! But the first one is uh, the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and this mascara is truly incredible. It's $12 here in Canada so it's not gonna break your bank. It's an amazing amazing formula. It does not budge from the lower lashes whatsoever. It doesn't make you look like a raccoon. It's incredible. And the little tiny eensy beensy weensy little wand here. I don't know. Like, 
I find that when you use a regular size mascara it, on your bottom lashes, it can make them look quite clumpy and spidery and, and just kind of gross, but this mascara makes them look so angelic-like. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just really pretty. It gives a beautiful effect for the bottom lashes, and it really nicely completes um, the look if you're trying to do like a smoky eye look. It's just really, really great and worth anything that I said about this because, yeah, it's... Well, it's in my favorites video. That that says it all. Okay. And then to go along with the bottom lash mascara, my favorite upper lash mascara has been the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. Let's just take in the packaging of this beautiful, beautiful product. Look at it. Look at it. It's like, I'm just going to say it's bamboo because they have a lot of love going on with bamboo things. So we're going to go with bamboo. It's got like purple print on it and it's just really nice and comfortable to hold. Like it's sturdy. You don't feel like your mascara is going to leave you when you're using it, you know, because it's just so nice. It's got a one that looks like a this. And the formula is great. It's just a super, super volumizing mascara that doesn't clump whatsoever. I prefer this way more than the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Simply because the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara doesn't give as much volume and it's quite clumpy when you sit and pack on the layers. This one doesn't clump up with layers. So I've been loving this mascara and it doesn't make me look like a raccoon and that's always a good thing, right? So I thought that I would address what is on my nails because I love this red color for the season. And it's this Sephora Formula X nail polish, but this is the X Love Rouge. So this is the nail polish you get when you become a VIB Rouge. But I wanted to mention it because I was just going to assume that the Sephora Formula X nail polishes had a red color that is similar to this. So I thought I'd mention it and say that I love the formula. I love the look of it. It's almost like a semi-matte finish. It's like matte, but kind of slightly glossy at the same time and I just love the color and think it's perfect for the holidays so I thought that I would mention that. For a skincare favorite I've just got one for you and it is the Bosha Cool Blue Hydration Essence and I did show this in my haul video and mentioned that I had been using samples of it for a while before I actually went and bought it and I just wanted to say that I have been using it for the last has it been like two weeks, three weeks since I filmed that VIB haul? I'm not sure. However long it's been since I filmed the haul, I've been using it every day since then during the day. I don't use it at night and it sits really nicely under makeup. It's not oily and sticky and gross and it doesn't muck up any foundation that you put on your face. It totally eradicates redness on your face. When I put this on, my redness is gone. It's incredible. I love that and I think that it has been an aid in a lot of my good skin days that I've had this month. So loving this product and I think it's an awesome facial oil to try if you have dry and or red skin. For a fashion favorite, I recently picked up the Top Shop Rip Top Shop the, the Top Shop Ripped Moto Ripped Moto Jamie Jeans. Yeah. Topshop Moto Jamie Jeans and they are ooh, they're made in Egypt. I never even saw that little tag there. Made in Egypt. Uh, yeah, so they're just plain black jeans and they've got the little rips in the knees and I have just been loving them. I think the rips in the knees add an extra dimension to the look and I have the blue pair and I just had been dying to pick up the black pair so I finally went and got it and I love that Topshop does the 10% off discount for students if you show your student card. So that's always a bonus when you're shopping and I just love these jeans so much. I get the tall version because with the other ones I had the regular length of the leg and I found that the whole like it's above my knee and it's just kind of sits in a weird place but with the tall version the hole sits nicely right over my knee and I love these jeans and basically haven't taken them off for the well I guess it hasn't been the whole month it's been like a week and a half but you know whatever they're being thrown in here anyway while we are on the topic of fashion I thought I would just mention my most favorite fashion clothing item that I have ever owned in my life and it is my parka. <laughs> now this is a Columbia parka and it's like a full body full length parka thing and I got this last year for Christmas and before I got that parka for Christmas I had lived in Calgary for three years with never owning a proper winter jacket and I just wanted to say that this is the first winter that I have started with this parka and I have not felt cold outside. It's been amazing. I wear that with my sweatpants and my winter boots and that's what I go to school in every day. And I look like a big grease ball, but at least I'm warm. And I just thought I'd say that if you live in a cold climate, a parka or a nice warm winter jacket is something that you definitely should invest in because it'll make your life so much better with the parka. 
it just make things oh so much sweeter and warmer. <laughs> now my TV favorite for the month is always going to be Once Upon a Time and Vampire Diaries because those are basically the only TV shows that I religiously watch every week and I just gotta say that I am filming this on Monday, it is December 1st, I don't know if I'm gonna have this video up today so you know whatever but the Once Upon a Time episode yesterday on November whatever the last day of November was, it was so good! I can't believe that like a whole curse is happening to Storybrooke again. And if any of you watch Once Upon a Time, feel me right now. That was such a cliffhanger! Why did they gotta do that to my soul? Because I just can't wait for the next episode. If you haven't watched Once Upon a Time, you need to watch Once Upon a Time because it is the best show ever. For music favorites, I have, like I'm sure the rest of the world has been, obsessing over the Taylor Swift 1989 album. Oh my goodness, it is such an amazing album! She did such a good job! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my last month's favorites or something, but I just gotta mention it again because it's so good. And then I also wanted to throw in that I have been loving the Selena Gomez, The Heart Wants What It Wants song. It's kind of like a sad song but it's still got a good beat to it and it's just an amazing song like I've been listening to it on repeat and I think it's so good and and you feel like such strong girl power when she's sitting there like you know secretly talking about Justin Bieber even though she doesn't explicitly say it but that's what I'm going to assume that she's doing in the song and it's just like yeah girl you tell him how you feel because shame on men for making us feel crappy right <laughs> Ugh. But that is it for my November favorites, everyone. Again, let me know if you'd like to see this makeup look. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what other Christmassy themed videos you'd like to see. I will also have all of my social media links in the description box down below as well, so you can go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I live on Instagram. I am obsessed with that freaking thing. And so, yeah, if you want to follow me there, you can do so. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!